The James Webb Space Telescope is now spotting objects from the universe's dark ages, and to everyone's surprise, many of them appear to be massive, fully formed galaxies. That's not what anyone expected to find this early in cosmic history. It's as if someone rewrote the rules of galaxy formation. With Webb's incredible sensitivity, we're gathering in weeks the kind of data that used to take years. And as these observations pour in, it's becoming clear that many long-standing cosmic records are about to fall. If you could stand in this room right now, surrounded by astronomers, astrophysicists, and cosmologists, you'd feel the electricity in the air. They all know how monumental these new images are, how profoundly they've changed our understanding of the universe. The cosmos has always been full of mysteries, but none more captivating than the ones buried in its distant past. How did the first galaxies form? How did they evolve? And what hidden clues do they hold about the origin and ultimate fate of the universe? These are the very questions the James Webb Space Telescope was built to answer by peering deeper into space and further back in time than ever before. And what it's uncovering is nothing short of astonishing. Ten galaxies that might be older than the universe itself. By now, most of us know the Webb Telescope's story, its launch, its unfolding in space, and that unforgettable first deep field image in June 2022. That single snapshot revealed galaxies so faint and distant that they had been invisible to every telescope before it. Suddenly, the darkness lit up. Galaxies emerged from the void, shining beacons from the dawn of time. Among them was one that would make headlines, Maisie's Galaxy. Now, Webb has identified roughly 10 others that appear even older, raising an incredible question. How could such massive structures exist so soon after the Big Bang? To understand that, we need to go back to where it all began, to the so-called dark ages of the universe, when the first stars and galaxies were just beginning to shape from clouds of primordial gas. These discoveries challenge our deepest models of cosmic evolution, suggesting that galaxies formed far earlier and far faster than we ever thought possible. And it wasn't just one or two of them, Webb found hundreds, each a relic of the universe's earliest chapters. One of the most famous was discovered by astronomer Stephen Finkelstein from the University of Texas at Austin. He named it Maisie's Galaxy after his daughter because he spotted it on her birthday. At first, his team estimated the light came from just 290 million years after the Big Bang, an incredible record. But later analysis revealed something even more remarkable. The galaxy was 100 million years older than they thought. That means Maisie's galaxy formed only 190 million years after the Big Bang, when the universe was still hot, dense, and just beginning to cool enough for stars to ignite. To this day, it remains the oldest known galaxy ever observed. But it may not be alone. So how do we actually know how old these galaxies are? And how is the James Webb Space Telescope rewriting our understanding of how the universe formed? To answer that, we need to look closer at how Webb sees the cosmos and what makes it unlike any telescope before it, including Hubble. The James Webb Space Telescope is more than just an observatory. It's a masterpiece of human engineering and scientific ambition. With its massive 6.5-meter primary mirror, Webb collects more light than any telescope ever built. Equipped with four powerful infrared instruments, it can peer deeper into the cosmos and further back in time than any mission before it. Webb orbits the Sun at a special point in space known as Lagrange Point 2, or L2, about 1.5 million kilometers from Earth. From there, it stays in perfect alignment with our planet and the Sun, shielded from the heat and distortion of Earth's atmosphere. Its infrared vision is crucial for studying the universe's earliest galaxies. Because these ancient galaxies are so distant, their light has been stretched, or redshifted, by the expansion of the universe. In astronomy, the redshift is the measure of how much light has shifted toward the red end of the spectrum. The higher the redshift, the farther away and the older the object is. 
Using a method called photometry, Webb analyzes the brightness of light through multiple filters to estimate both redshift and age. These measurements have revealed something extraordinary. Some galaxies appear to be even older than Maisie's galaxy. In fact, they may have formed only a few hundred million years after the Big Bang. As Fabio Picciucci from the Harvard Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics explains, we're witnessing the rise of massive galaxies far earlier than anyone expected. It's a stunning revelation because these galaxies formed when the universe was still scorching hot and incredibly dense during an era when the first stars were just beginning to ignite. Yet they already contained billions of solar masses rivaling the Milky Way in weight, but compressed into regions nearly 30 times smaller. One team from the Swinburne University of Technology in Australia identified a new class of early galaxies with masses comparable to our Milky Way, existing just 750 million years after the Big Bang. These colossal systems were 10 to 100 times larger than any galaxies previously known from that epoch, tightly packed into astonishingly compact structures. Even more puzzling, these galaxies appeared to host far more stars than should have been possible under our current models of cosmic evolution. According to the standard cosmological model, galaxies form and grow within halos of dark matter, the mysterious, invisible substance that makes up most of the universe's matter. These halos act as gravitational wells, pulling in gas and dust, forming the seeds of early galaxies. Over billions of years, smaller halos merge into larger ones, gradually building the massive galaxies we see today. But Webb's discoveries break that pattern. We're seeing massive, luminous galaxies forming too early. Galaxies that, by all known physics, shouldn't exist yet. Not only did Webb find these giant G-type galaxies, among the brightest and most massive in the early cosmos, it also detected Milky Way-like galaxies at the very edge of the observable universe. Many of these early galaxies glowed intensely with ionized gas, so bright that the gas itself outshone the stars. Nearly 90% of them exhibited what astronomers call extreme emission features, a sign of furious, rapid star formation, when the young universe was barely 2 billion years old. And among all these infant, turbulent galaxies, one stood out. A galaxy that, despite the chaos of the early cosmos, looked strikingly familiar. A galaxy that mirrored the structure of our own Milky Way. Yes, you heard that right. When the universe was just 2 billion years old, the James Webb Space Telescope captured something remarkable. A spiral galaxy known as Ceres 2112. What makes this discovery so astonishing is that Ceres 2112 shows a bar of stars and gas running across its center, a feature known as a galactic bar. These bars are not just beautiful, they're a sign of maturity. They act like cosmic conveyor belts, channeling gas toward the galaxy's core, igniting powerful bursts of star formation. For decades, astronomers believed such structures only appeared in older, more evolved galaxies, systems that had already reached stability after billions of years of cosmic evolution. That's why this discovery changes everything. With earlier telescopes like Hubble, barred spiral galaxies were thought to be rare or even non-existent in the early universe. But Webb's deep field observations are rewriting that assumption. The discovery of Ceres 2112 proves that galaxies resembling our Milky Way already existed nearly 12 billion years ago, when the universe was just 15% of its current age. Webb observed this galaxy at a redshift of 3, meaning the light we see today left it roughly 12 billion years ago. In other words, we're looking at this galaxy as it was when the cosmos was barely 2 billion years old. According to the standard model of cosmology, galaxies shouldn't have been able to form such complex structures so early. The physical conditions of that young universe simply didn't allow it. Yet here we are, face to face with a galaxy that breaks all the rules. Even our most advanced cosmological simulations struggle to reproduce something like Ceres 2112 at such an early time.
Today, we believe that 85% of the universe's matter is made of dark matter, the invisible framework that shaped the cosmos after the Big Bang. Dark matter forms massive halos, guiding ordinary matter, or baryons, into the galaxies we see today. But Webb's data tells a different story for Series 2112. This galaxy appears to have formed and evolved mostly from ordinary matter, not dark matter. Despite dark matter's dominance across the universe, Series 2112 seems to have developed its structure independently through gas dynamics, star formation, and feedback processes, rather than the gravitational pull of dark matter halos. This discovery doesn't just challenge a small detail, it questions the foundation of how we think galaxies evolve. It suggests that in the young universe, galaxy growth may have been driven by more complex interactions than we imagined. Perhaps turbulence, magnetic fields, or bursts of energy from early stars and black holes. Series 2112 also raises a bigger question. How many galaxies like this exist out there? If more are found, they could reshape our understanding of the early cosmos and force scientists to reconsider how galaxies, including our own Milky Way, came to be. This is just one of many groundbreaking discoveries Webb has delivered since its launch. Each new image, each new data point, brings us closer to understanding the forces that shape the galaxies around us. And now astronomers believe Webb could even help us unlock the mysteries of the Milky Way's heart. For generations, scientists have gazed at the Milky Way's glowing spiral arms, wondering what drives their evolution, what hidden processes sculpt these vast star-filled structures. Perhaps by studying distant galaxies like Ceres 2112, we're seeing a reflection of our own origins, a mirror to the forces that built our cosmic home. The Milky Way's galactic center remains the only place where we can study individual stars in detail. And with every discovery, Webb is revealing more about how galaxies, from the smallest spirals to the grandest ellipticals, evolve throughout the universe. Because the more we learn about our galaxy, the more we understand all galaxies, and ultimately, the universe itself.